So now that the system is set up, I'm going to start actually planting the seeds. Uh, to do that, have hydrogen here and uh, rock wool plugs. And there's a setup process for dealing with these as growing mediums. So we'll go through that. Uh, I also have a one package of seeds. I have a few others. And I'm going to go get some more at the store within uh, the next couple days. Um, and then I'll have all the, the holes filled up. When it comes to aeroponics versus hydroponics, the seed starting process has been one of the hardest things for me to find any sort of material on. What I've come up with is that it seems as if there is no way to start a seed aeroponically. You have to start it hydroponically, which means to actually get the seed wet. And since we're starting it in this rock wool cube, it's kind of fuzzy. Um, it's supposed to absorb water, I haven't tried it yet. Uh, what I'm going to do is basically have the seed in this, which you're supposed to do, and then just keep wetting this with the nutrient solution. It's half nutrient solution. So you have to, for some reason, I guess too many nutrients in the water will kill the seed or something like that. So you have to dilute it down. Um, but I'll just be keeping this wet in the cup with the hydrogen already in place, uh, which is the little tiny rocks. And... Uh, Hopefully the roots will come out through the bottom and it can start growing aeroponically versus hydroponically just with the, with the hydro just then. Now the first thing I'm going to deal with is the hydron. Basically just tiny clay that's in a ball, I think. I think that's what it is. And uh, it, there's nothing inherently wrong with this right now. It's just dirty. And you don't want all that nasty dirt and stuff filtering in your system, clogging up your water pump, and all that kind of thing. So, you basically got to use this rinse it off. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is just take all this and pour out all the dirty water and then repeat the process until the water is clean. So, now we're going to deal with the rock wool. And the rock wool is right here, and for some reason, naturally, it comes in a uh, it's wrong pH, it comes above 7. And next you need to get down to 6 or 6.5. And it tells you right on here how to do it. It says to mix 3 quarters gallons of 5.5 pH solution. And uh, you take this, put it in the solution for about an hour, let it sit, uh, mix around. And, uh, and then it's, it adjusts this to the correct, the correct amount. 3 fourths gallons is equal to 12 cups. Um, so I have 12 cups of fresh water in here, and it's been cleaned out from cleaning off the hydrogen. Uh, and now I need to take, I need to take five and a third lemons, and take the lemon juice, put it in here, mix that up, then I take the rock wool, put it in the bucket, and let it sit. So now the lemons are all in, and it's all squeezed up. Let's see right here. I just let the lemons in there for so the heck of it, just to uh, kind of let all the le lemon juice suck out of them. Uh, I mixed it up, and now, just to be sure, I'm going to check the pH of the water. And the reason I'm doing that is because I read somewhere that if the pH is below five or five at five or below five, I think it'll uh, destroy the fibers in the rock wool. So I'm going to check the pH just to make sure that you know I'm not causing damage to this. Because I don't have to order more, and that'll be pain in the butt. Now I have a very hard time with these things because I'm colorblind. Um, I don't really have a clue what the pH is. I hate these things. So I'm just going to put the rock wall in and hope it works. Now I'm just making sure to, to get them as soaked as I can. All well, the lemons are kind of in the way. I'm going to take those out. Uh, these are thoroughly soaked. Like that. I'm just going to let them sit here for an hour and not touch them. So now that the rock wool uh, plugs are done soaking, I'm just going to take them out of the water and squeeze the water out. It's still a source on the end of this so that you should squeeze most of the excess stuff out. I wonder if that's not a good idea. Hmm.
Yeah, I don't know about that. So now that the Rockwell plugs are done uh, soaking, their pH should be good. I'm not going to test it, but uh, I'm just going to take them out and I'm gonna place them on this mat here. I need 16 of them. The ones that I don't use, I'm going to just uh, leave somewhere to dry out and put them in a plastic ziplock so I have them for later. Now that I got all the plugs out, I'm going to start uh, setting them up in the baskets. From what I can tell, um, the way to do this is to uh, put the plug in there with the seed in the plug and uh, have it so that the hydrotin is already in there as well. So that when the, the roots grow out, it'll go right through the hydrotin and through the, through the slits on the basket. Uh, so since this sinks down a little bit into the basket, I'm going to fill it up with a layer of hydrotin on the bottom and then have the, the plug in there, put the seed in, and then hydrotin around on the sides. So you can see there's a, there's a layer of the hydrotin and the plug in the top. And I'm just going to put some around the side to make it more sturdy. Now, I've never seen one of these cups online in any pictures where you can see the uh, the rock will uh, after the, the plant has been grown for a while. So I don't really know what's going to happen here. If the plant is somehow supposed to eat up the rock wool or I don't know. So uh, I might end up at some point having to scoop out the rock wool because it's very soft um, and then filling it and placing it with hydrogen in order to keep the structure so that the plant doesn't, doesn't fall over. Now I'm going to take the uh, basil seed here. Now I say just to start with two or three per cup. I got I got one seed in my hand. You can't see it because it's very tiny. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it right in this little crack here, right at the top, so that when the roots go down, they'll be able to go through the crack. So right there, right in the middle, there is the uh, the tiny seed. And I'm going to put two more on here uh, down the line so that uh, if one of the seeds fails, it'll still have a chance of growing. Now that i got the seeds in there, I'm just going to put it back in the hole and uh, repeat the process with the rest of the cups. I don't have seeds for all the cups right now, so I'm just going to do the ones I have. And then uh, tomorrow the next day, because I'm going to have the rock wool at the surface, I'll just put the seed on there and then add that that cup to my watering routine. And uh, basically what I'm going to do over the next uh, you know, few weeks until the roots come through, um, at some point within the next few days I'm going to turn on this system and have it uh, you know, with full nutrient water and uh, have it circulating. That way hopefully maybe some of the mist will come up from the bottom and keep the, uh, the rock wall a little moister. So I'm worried that if I water it in the morning, go to work, come back home, the rock wool is going to dry out by the time I get back, and it needs to stay wet. But other than that, I'll be watering it just like a normal plant from the top with the half strength um, solution. And I guess the final thing to mention is that this light is going to be on 24-7 uh, during the seed process or the seed time. Uh, until it gets, I think I read on the internet somewhere, it said four leaves or two leaves or something like that. Um, because apparently the heat of uh, the light helps, and otherwise I don't know how how the light would help. If it's just a seed, it doesn't have any leaves to do photosynthesis. Um, but it's going to be on. I'm going to turn it off 15 minutes a day, because I read somewhere in some warning manual about uh, leaving it on for too long, it gets too hot, so it needs uh, a few minutes a day to cool down, or a few minutes a week, but I'm going to do it per day just to be safe. Um, so that's it. So hopefully in a week, next video, we'll, uh, we'll see some sprouts. Uh, if anybody's got some suggestions, I can definitely use some help. I'll see you next time.